Let's talk about second order things. So, uh, let's see. First things first. This is a lot like the second derivative section in Calc 1, which I hope you remember as being pretty easy. Yeah. Right? Like, how do you take a second derivative? You just do it again. again. You do a derivative to a derivative, right? Okay. So, really, these come from that Taylor approximation kind of thing that we wanted to make. So, I'm going to give you an idea for T2, right? Second order Taylor polynomial. So the way we ought to do that, right, is we ought to start with our dumbest guess, which is, uh, yeah, evaluate at a point, right? So I'm going to evaluate at the point A, B, right? So this is going to be a second order Taylor approximation of F of X and Y at the point A comma B, right? So that's kind of the object we're trying to build. So zeroth order, right? The dumbest guess you can have is you just evaluate the function at the point. Then the next dumbest thing you can do is you could add So we could do fx at AB times x minus a x minus a. So really I'm thinking the x slope times the change in x. And then we could add the y slope times the, oops, a, B. Or y minus b, I think. Right? The Don't we have to start with oh, the f, a, f, y, a, b, then y minus b? Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's just bad notation on my part. Right? We should evaluate f, y at a, b, and then multiply by y minus b. Okay? And then what? I'm assuming that we do f x x. Okay, so we don't have notation for these yet, but let's just throw them in there. Like, pretend we know what we're doing. <laughs> f x x at a b times perfect. The change in x squared, right? Oh my gosh. Do we have to do f of x y as well? Okay, so the one I know I can fill in is f y y at a b, right? Which should get multiplied by y minus b squared. Uh, and then I'm concerned, right? Because that's not all the second order things I could make. You guys all see that? Okay, so you're going to have to trust me for one second. Because I'm going to add two fxy's here. Oh, so the that makes sense? No, so it doesn't. <laughs> nice try. Wait, so f of y and x ends up being equal to the same to xy? You guys see that? Yes. Ben, ben says, so wait. <laughs> fxy and fyx are the same? That's not, don't give me that. That is amazing and true, but amazing. And by true, I mean most of the time. So there's, there's some problems. We'll talk about it in a second. What should I multiply this thing by? X minus A and Y minus B. You guys see why? Right, that's like the X slope per y slope, right? You guys see that? So I should need a y to get rid of, yeah, maybe like this. That's the change in z per change in x, change in y, right? Yeah, this almost looks like a polynomial, right? Why does this thing almost look like a polynomial? Yeah, it is a polynomial. Why is this thing a polynomial? It should be the second order Taylor polynomial, right? Uh, so, things that are scalars, that's a scalar, right? All the slopes are actually just numbers, right? 
So all those things are scalars, right? Mm -hmm. And then what's the highest degree of a variable I get? Squares to the third. Yeah, there's some variables squared in there. So there's three second order variables represented here. What are they? X squared, Y squared, and XY. Perfect. X and X, and X, y. Yeah. Y be by by two. Oh, yeah, they should. Thank you. What did I screw up? Taylor's, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, I just screwed is. up Taylor's series. <laughs> <laughs> These guys should be over 2 factorial. Over 2 oh. factorial. And over 2 factorial. Why Thank you, Karina. Why is that? Like, can we have to go back into the original? Yeah, so if we went all the way back to the original ta Taylor series, right? The idea of Taylor series is fx, right? Is a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared, right? And if you differentiate these things and evaluate at x is 0, right? These should match up, which means that 2a2 is whatever f double prime at 0 is. You need that over two to compensate. Thank you for catching that. I would have felt really dumb with that. You guys good on this? Okay, so at this point, you basically have my word that this is a second order Taylor approximation. Yeah, later we might talk about. It. I'm not going to actually use this thing for very much. I just want you to know that this is an object that does exist. Okay. Does that make sense? We're not actually going to go into making these things. Why am I definitely not going to show you a third degree Taylor polynomial? Because f x x x f x y because x y x x y and x y y are two separate. You ones need you well. need three factorial. You need whatever factorial of those things. Yeah, I need a whole bunch of these. Some of them collapse because some oh, of them right, are the right, same. Right, yeah. But yeah, it ends up being kind of a disaster. I don't really want a chance writing it down wrong, so I'm probably not going to do it up here. That's cool. Do you believe that you could very carefully, with a friend, construct such an object? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but you definitely need the friend, right? Probably. All right. So. Is the local linearity 